Hi everyone, it's Terry with the Cupboard Chipboard, and I'm here today with an unboxing for two kits that I got from um, Diamond Art Club. Got a medium size and a large size, and the medium size is 42 by 58, which is a 16 and a half by 22, almost 23 inches. And the large is a 52 by 72, which is 20 and a half inches by 28, just a tad over 28 inches. Um, so we'll get to those. Um, I'm going to start with the medium one first. I'm trying to hide the picture here. Um, I actually had three of these, my yin yang owl. That's a mouthful. Ying Yang Owl came from DAC. Um, and if you ever see DAC, that's Diamond Art Club, in case you don't know that. So, um, nice box. Has instructions on the back. Uh, three different languages. Um, gives you information. It says, Premium Velvet tarp Tarpaulin Canvas. Color-coded resin, diamonds, magic diamond applicator, wax pad, craft tray. Um, so, and there's a little thing here I, I just noticed. says, scan me, unlock 10% off. I'm assuming that's on all of their boxes, so you could get 10% off on your next order. Although they frequently have coupons and things and sales going on on their site. I think right now they have a 15% uh, off. And if you've never ordered from them before, I'm, I want to say that the first time I ordered, I got a coupon and email. But don't quote me on that because I don't know for sure. So let's get right to this. Um, okay, everything comes in a nice little plastic bag. Oh, these show the pictures. So you get, um, well, well, we'll do this in a minute. Let's go ahead. Everything's on a plastic bag. It's rolled. Of course, their canvases are um, kind of a soft, velvety thing material on the back. I don't know what it is. <coughs> Excuse me. We're having big weather change here. Stormy and it's coming in and it's just off on people who have sinus problems. Let me get a little drink there. A little drinky drinky. Okay, here we go. Ooh, looks like feathers, doesn't it? First impression's really nice. Um, it's really interesting because their canvas has sort of a, I don't know if you can see it or not. Get up. Oh, I just dropped the diamonds on the floor. See if you can see that. Their canvas is kind of a sparkle to it. So then the um, underneath in your background also has a little bit of sparkle to it. Hopefully y'all can see that. Um, this is a round. I love rounds. Here you've got your nice uh, color key down the side. It has 29 colors, and it looks like a lot of these are the same color numbers, or there are quite a few color numbers in here that I were in my owl, so that's good. Um, I don't know if you saw my earlier video about um, the storage boxes that I was using, but um, it uses these Tic Tac kind of uh, boxes. They're really nice. Uh, this whole lid comes out. Normally it comes out easier, but I shoved it in there real hard. So they're real easy to fill. And it comes with labels, and I just put a label on the side of the box and wrote in pencil so I could erase it. Because originally I was thinking, okay, I'll just write on here. I can erase it and then write on it again for my new numbers. And once it gets too yucky, I can just replace the sticker. But I really, really like these. It makes it really easy um, to get your colors, your drills in and out. So, I didn't erase the numbers because I thought, okay, if I have some of the same numbers in my next kit, then I won't have to change my numbers. And 
this storage box system, it's in my tools video, it comes with like 64 of those little um, Tic Tac boxes. So you got quite a bit. So it's a really nice, inexpensive storage idea. So let's go on with our canvas. I can't get the whole thing in here, I don't think so. I'll have to just do it a little bit. Step-by-step -step instructions. Okay, and there's another thing for 10% off your next purchase. Boy, you get lots of 10% coupons. Um, so this is Two Dragons. The name of it is... Ying Yang Dragons. Boy, I got a thing for that title, don't I? But um, this is going to be for a friend of mine. It is 42 by 58 is the size. And again, that is in centimeters, and it is 16 and a half inches by 22.8 inches. Uh, one of my peeves about diamond painting is that they give you the size of the canvas, and some of them have a one inch, a half an inch, two inches. You never know. Now, at DAC, I will say that they do show you a picture of the canvas on their website, and you can see the actual diamond painting area size. But a lot of them, they're not sized for ready-made frames. I don't know why they do that. It, it drives me nuts. It's like, I don't want to pay, you know, even with a 40% coupon, you're still looking at... Yeah. Sorry, that's my dog. Um, quite a bit of money for a custom frame. And I'm not going to pay for it. So, stop it, Gypsy. So, um, I'm debating on what to do about that. I think... I've seen a lot of people, and somebody mentioned that they buy ready-made frames. I'm going to pause the video and take care of the dog. Okay, we'll try this again. Hopefully she won't. She has to let me know when there's anybody outside. So, um, back to the framing. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I, I have seen people say that they have gone and had a custom mat made uh, large enough to fit in a ready-made frame. So, that's an option. Um, I've actually thought about... If it's too wide, like if this one is, what was it? 16 and a half inches. So that's a half inch larger than a ready-made frame. Um, so I'm thinking that would be a quarter inch off each side. I may not, I may cut a quarter inch off. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what I wind up doing. I don't know yet. But anyway, that really drives me nuts. But you can see... Um, by getting this size, how to find the faces are on the dragons. So that's going to be a really nice one. Um, let me see. I dropped my drills on the floor. Here are all the drills. So I'm going to roll this up and get it kind of out of the way here. Um, something I wanted to mention. There are two different kinds of adhesive that you can get on kits. Some are a poured glue and some are a double-sided tape. And um, the poured glue is preferable to the double-sided tape. I've read and heard that with double-sided tape, the drills tend to pop off. And you will find that on your really inexpensive kits from China. Not to say that all inexpensive kits are that way, but... It's very likely if you get one that is um, double-sided tape, it's going to be a very inexpensive um, canvas from China. So, that said, there are also two different types of poured glue. Now, Diamond Art Club, hand charts, and their kits, and they pour the glue and let it sit till the glue dries, and then they put this plastic sheet on top. Um, it's fairly, it's pretty sticky, as you can tell here. It's very sticky. Whoops. It's very sticky. Um, and it's thicker, and it almost has, like, when you push the 
the diamond or the, the drills in, you can feel it kind of give a little bit. So that's a very good poured glue. Um, the um, other poured glue will come on a canvas, um, and you can tell it just doesn't look the same. It looks like it's a poured glue, but it looks like a double-sided tape, if that makes sense to you. If you've ever seen double-sided tape on cardstock or white paper or something, that's what it looks like. It looks very different, so you'll know the difference when you see it. Um, also, what was that I was going to mention? Something else. Ah, oh, well, it slipped my mind. Maybe I'll think of it here in a minute. Let me go on and go to the drills. Your drills will come packaged like this. A nice little bag. And if I pull this out of here, I may not get it back together, but... And then they'll come... Let's see if I can find the end of one. Here it is. Um, like this. And your color number will be listed on top of the bag. Those are really shiny. I don't know if those are ABs. They look like ABs. Different kind of drill. Yeah, those are ABs. So there's some ABs in here as well as regular. There's no specialty ones, I don't believe, but it does look like it has those, that one bit of ABs. Can't tell if that's them or not, but their drills are very nice, very sparkly. Um, I'm excited to do this round because my other one was square, and to me it seems like that the rounds sparkle more. But we'll see after I do this, and then we can compare this to um, my other one. I think I just tore that bag. Oh. Okay. And it's nice that they put a sticker on here, Yin Yang Dragons, in case this should ever get separated from your canvas. And I'm thinking that that probably could easily happen when you're unboxing things and looking at them um, and you don't get them put back up right away. I'm guessing that could happen. So let's roll this one up. Don't really need that, but I'll put it back in there. And we'll check out the next kit. So that's really nice. I'm, I'm happy about that. I guess I should put this back in this plastic. Although I'm not going to mess with it because this is the one I'm going to work on next. Oh, I think there was a toolkit in there. There's something in the bottom. Yes. Toolkit. Um, it's your... Standard diamond pen. You get two things of wax. There's a little rubber or, or spongy um, pen thing. Some plastic bags and a tray. I'm going to get rid of that plastic because, like I said, this is the one I'm going to work on next. So I'm just going to slide it back down in here. I'm not even going to put the toolkit in there. I'll set it down over here. I'll be doing a, a kit, a getting ready video here soon on the diamond one, I mean on the dragon one. This one is really big. Okay. And another tool kit and sticker. I forgot to show you that. On the dragons, they also give you this, um, it's a little sticker. So I guess if you don't want to keep the box and you wanted to just leave it like this, you can put the sticker on the outside. That's kind of a neat little deal. And this is your color key, which some people take these and cut it up, and this is what they'll tape to their um, little storage containers. So that's kind of neat. Um, I may go that route. I don't know. I, like I said, I don't know if they're the same on every kit or not. 5,200. Um, 
is white, it looks like. So I'll have to see when I get to doing this. I'll have to really see what, how that would work. I did see another video where a, a girl, instead of putting the color numbers on her containers, her drill containers, she simply uses one through 29 or one through however many. And then she'll kit them up that way. Like she'll put all of the 154s in container one, the next in container two, three, four, five. And that kind of seems to make a lot of sense to me as well. Um, if you hang on to this or you've got your color key on the side of the chart, you can still go back and change them to D and C numbers for your leftover drills real easily. So, same thing, kit, standard pen, pencil or pen grip, baggies, um, it's just a white, a clear tray, and two wax things. I, I'm surprised that they don't, for the prices, I'm surprised you don't get tweezers. I really am. I, I would have thought they would have, you know, when I bought cheap kits and gotten tweezers, and these that I got in one kit, these are some decent, nice tweezers. So, I'm surprised they don't include those. But, oh well. Um, and I do have, it's going to be a little while before I do another unboxing because I've got quite a few. I think I have two orders coming. But, um, I don't know how long they're going to take to get here. So, Let's start with this one. We'll start at the top. I already like this. And we'll go some more. Can you tell? Oh, this is pretty. I like this. There's some gears. Um, a clock background and a clock, clock numbers. And an owl again. I have a thing for owls. I love owls. This is really neat. Um, the symbols are really nice on it. There are only 23 colors. I'm surprised that there weren't more. This thing is huge. And there we go. Hopefully you could see it all. I'll try to take a photo of this and put it um, in with the video when I make the video. Trying to go slow here. It's really nice. Really nice. And I do have an idea for possibly making this a working clock for the wall when I get done with it. But we'll see. That may be a little ambitious. I don't know. Here's all, our, all, all of our drills. There's some pretty colors. But there's lots of browns, blacks, and beiges. So this one's going to... Looks like lots of dark colors. But I think it's nice that they're spread apart. And there's not huge areas of dark. There doesn't appear to be huge areas of any one color, which I think is nice. Maybe up at the top there's a light color, but even that is not, if you can see, even that's not ginormous areas. So that's nice. I, I have discovered that large areas of one color tend to kind of, I kind of get, eh. Not so motivated, but I like how these colors are all broken up and they're not, there's not any really big, big areas. So this is going to be a fun one to do. It's going to take me a while. But, you know, really, when you think about it, if you're going to buy their kits, which are a little bit more money, um, it's kind of nice if it's going to take you a little while. Because then it just makes it last that much longer. It's not one that you can whip through. Again, we've got the card with the um, color codes on it and um, the little sticker. So, um, these might be 
good too if you want to keep like a log book of ones that you've done you could take the stickers and put those in there that's an idea I think I might do that I wish I don't have the one for the owl I pitched it but that's kind of a neat idea to do with those or you could use these big sheets even if you wanted to so that's a pretty good kind of a nifty little thing and all that extra little stuff, ooh, my ruler kind of glued there, is why you pay a little bit more for their kits as well. But they are nice kits. You know, if you can afford and you don't mind paying a little higher price for your kits, then I think they're very nice. Um, I will continue to buy from them. I'll buy from other places as well. So, um... Oh, I pulled it out already, didn't I? <clears throat> you know, I'm not going to purchase exclusively from any one place. And when I purchase, I purchase based on the design. They're, um... So, um... You know, don't base that... Here's the two that we just unboxed. Um... Purchase where you want to. Don't don't let anybody tell you don't buy their kit. Somebody unless it's a bad kit, and somebody tells you you know don't buy from there because their kits are bad. I um I wouldn't worry about it. Here is um, this. When you get this, you go ahead and you slide your little grip on there. It just kind of slips on. And then you can pull it down to wherever you want to place it. Normally right there. And then this is your spacer. I think it's a... I haven't seen a lot of these, so I really don't know how many fit in there. I'm guessing this might be a four or five. But I'm really not sure. I'll have to try that out and see it. And see. Then that just pushes right down in there. I, I really don't like using the multi-spacer very well but you might and of course we get our um two uh wax things and some baggies and don't just pitch your baggies because you might get a kit that doesn't or that maybe you didn't buy a huge storage box and you might need baggies for something so it's a good idea to hang on to those Sometimes, too, if you get one with a big background um, area that's all one color, you can't get all the gems in one Tic Tac box. So, you can keep your extras in the baggie. So, that's a good idea. And your tray. And um, these are kind of nice little bags here that I'm thinking you could reuse. You can buy blank canvas. And I was wondering if you couldn't take blank canvas and put it on these. So, that might be a little thing we might try. We'll see. Um, but, so, there's your basic toolkit. Again, these come in the sheets, and you also have the little stickers that come that you could use for something in your toolkit. And that's it. And the next video I'm going to be doing, I'll be working on the dragons. And then I have, I have one kind of unboxing um, one that I ordered from Amazon, and I will show that in another video. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Keep diamond painting.